The federal government has promised to put more violent criminals behind bars under its tough new laws. But documents obtained by CBC News show just how crowded Canada's prisons are now. Our senior correspondent, Terry Molesky, has this story. Terry. Well, Diana, prison experts have long insisted that cramming two inmates into one cell is a recipe for trouble. Now, CBC News has obtained new figures suggesting they have a point that as double bunking increases in Canada, so does prison violence. Uh, I make no apologies for double occupancy. It's an appropriate uh, utilization of space. Vic Taves, the Minister of Public Safety, says double bunking is not a major concern, but it has been rising sharply. The new figures from the Corrections Service show the rate of double bunking for all federal inmates is up from 9.6% in 2008 to 17.4% last year. But it's more than doubled in Ontario and is most acute on the prairies, where it's risen from nearly 12% to 26%. The Ombudsman for Corrections, Howard Sapers, says it's a dangerous trend. A double bunking is a symptom of a crowded system, a system that's operating over capacity, a system that's tense. Um, and so that all together leads to what we see as uh, violence inside institutions. As I said, increasing use of force, increasing the use of pepper spray, increasing inmate assaults, etc. The new figures do suggest that rising violence coincides with the rise in double bunking. The use of force by guards to deal with trouble is up from 975 incidents in 2007 to 1,339 last year. And just as double bunking rose fastest on the prairies, so did the use of force, up from 185 incidents to 394. But the government says double bunking is not to blame, that a younger, more violent prison population is. The statistics speak for themselves, but we attribute it to... Um, our tough on crime measures over the last six years that have kept more violent and serious offenders behind bars and off the streets, which is a good thing for law-abiding Canadians. Still, the government hasn't yet produced evidence that prisoners really are getting younger and more violent. And critics insist that overcrowding is a key factor in the violence, which does not necessarily stop when the prisoners get out. Diana. Thanks, Terry. Terry Malewski tonight.